You right there? Don't spurt, don't spurt, don't spurt. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> Where are you going? What's wrong? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey you guys, good morning, or good afternoon, rather. It's been quite a busy day, we had a bit of a sleep in, and have been out shopping, and gotten a bit of stuff that we needed for the weekend. Eey. Oh, I just have to eat something, because I'm starving. I've already had a coffee today, that was really nice. Jess made me these absolutely delicious cinnamon pinwheels. Oh my god. So this weekend I've actually got a decent amount of stuff to do, or that I plan to do. First thing I'm going to do is wire up the third security light outside, which is on the garage, because I installed it on the side of the wall, but I hadn't run any wires to it yet, so I need to do that. I brought some AC cable home from work, which means I can get that going. I brought home the speaker from work, which... I need to finish off. Acoustic foam, as you know, is here. Well, the black ones are here. The charcoal ones are at work. And I've put one coat on it already of the white. I've just been back to work now as we went out and put a second coat of white on so they're drying. I'll hopefully pick them up Sunday afternoon. Hopefully they will be completely dry then. And well, I know they'll probably be drying now because it's quick, it's fast drying paint. But, ooh, pardon me. But it fumey, it's a bit fumey because of all the aerosol. So hopefully like a good 24 hours should be enough to air it out and then I'm gonna stick them on the wall. And how I'm sticking them on the wall. This is bloody genius. I'm not claiming it because I Googled it to figure this out. I was originally gonna use like some of those 3M stick on uh, Velcro strips, but I didn't really know how I was gonna secure them to the foam because I didn't think it would stick very well. So I Googled how to secure acoustic foam to walls. What, because people have tried nailing it up, sticking it up, gluing it up. Like that, the main one people often use is like that 3M spray adhesive, like glue. But I didn't really want to do that because that's kind of like a permanent measure. And I wanted them to be removable if necessary. Obviously I won't be in this house forever. And then the second option is this. This. This is that wood stuff which they have at the edges of wall. Edges of floors running around the walls of your house with a carpet. Like this gets nailed down to the floor and then the carpet gets laid on top of it and the spikes go into the carpet and some guy on a forum said that this stuff works brilliantly and I can see why it would it's a brilliant idea I'm so happy I came across it so all I'm gonna do is use the nails which are already in here ready to go get that level bang it into the wall and then these little sticky out nails here if you can see them the foam is just gonna literally poke onto it and hold itself up and it's good as well because if you look down this direction these nails are all on an angle as well which means that it's not just gonna slide off um, if I put the nails angling upwards at the foam you'll see it's gonna work awesome I got six lots of this because I'm doing four wide and three high I strip it at the top and bottom of each one and it was cheap as like these are $2.47 per run and they're 1.2 meters long which is exactly what I need so it was like 13 bucks or 14 bucks or whatever for the whole lot, which is actually way cheaper than what the 3M Velcro strips were going to be. So I'm so glad I came across this idea. That's the other thing we're going to do this weekend. And that's pretty much everything I've got planned, but I need to show you that light bulb that I got. I couldn't wait. I always do this. I always say I'm going to like wait till the weekend to um, show people like the technology that I get, but I'm way too selfish and impatient. And as soon as I got it, which was on Monday, I took it, no Tuesday, I took it out of the box and tested it and it, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. Seriously, it's not branded, it's just some cheap Chinese thing. It's actually probably my favourite light bulb in the whole house. Let me show you. So this is our bathroom. That's the, what would you call it, the fan, heat lamp, light bulb, multi sort of unit, which I actually put in because the one that we had in there, the motor for the fan died, so I put a new one in. And originally it just came with obviously the four heat lamps and a basic uh, like fluorescent light bulb in the light fitting. But if I turn the light on, so we've got 
heat, heat fan lamp light. Turn the light on. Nice bright white LED. Next to the radio. Got this remote. And that's not even as loud as it goes. It goes much louder, like... That is my favourite light bulb in the whole house. It's got a radio tuner built into it. And you control it with a remote, which is awesome. You can dim... It's, so it's like obviously like a cool white LED, so A, it uses bugger all power. The speaker is built into it. There's no extra wire running, nothing I have to do. The LED is dimmable. I think I might need to get a new battery for this remote because it's not very responsive. You can set up to apparently 50 preset stations on the remote. You don't have to have the radio going, you can just pause it off like that. Stoked! Turn the light off, goes off. So yes, without a doubt, one of the coolest things I've ever bought. And the main reason I'm so stoked about it is it only cost me 25 bucks. 25 bucks New Zealand, if you're in America, is probably around... Now I'm just guessing here, I'm no good with currency exchanges. Between between probably 15 and 20 US dollars. I reckon that's quite cheap for an LED bulb which has a radio built in. And the other thing is that it, it has a USB input and a micro SD card reader in it as well. So you can have a memory stick or a card in there with music on it and play music off the storage device. I'm not doing that because that's just a wee bit pointless. The reason I went for this one and not a different one because on Trade Me there are lots of bulbs with speakers in them. Most of them are RGB bulbs, like the ones I've got throughout the house, with Bluetooth built in and you can play music from your phone. But I didn't really want to muck around with, you know, coming home with my phone always peering to it as soon as we turn the light in the bathroom on and playing music. I just like to have a bit of music when I'm, you know, having a shower or whatever, so the radio is perfect because I've always got something playing. And legitimately, this was the only one that I found on the whole website that had a radio built in and it's unbranded, it's made in China. I don't know, I just... I think it's really cool. What does it say here? 50,000 hours of life. See, like, it doesn't even come with any instructions or anything on it saying what it actually does, which just kind of proves its cheapness. But for what it does, I, I'm so happy. It's awesome. But it's not all good. If I had to nitpick, and that's what I do, I nitpick because I'm particular, there is one problem it has. When you turn the lights, the power supply off at the switch, which is how you would normally operate a light bulb. And now I'm guessing, because it seems to, it, like I haven't got it down to an exact number yet, but I'd say after about maybe 10 minutes of the power being off to the bulb, it forgets what radio station you're on. Which is why when I turned the light bulb on just before, it went to static. So, it, like, on the auction, see it doesn't even say it on the box, but on the auction on Trade Me, it said it could hold up to 50 uh, preset stations in its bank. But that's no good if you turn the power off, obviously it forgets them because it forgot what station I was on last. So every time I want to use it, I have to use the remote and seek up to the channel that I want to listen to. The way around that is you'd use the remote to turn the LED on and off. I would prefer it if you didn't have to do that, because I'm, it's not just me and Jess living here, like it'd be no big deal if it was just me and Jess because I can just tell her use this remote to turn it on and off so that it saves the stations, but I'm not the only one living here, we got flatmates and I don't want them to have to deal with that. So because of that, I am just going to deal with it myself by seeking to the channel each time I want to, you know, have a shower and listen to music or anything like that. But given that there is that there was no better version of this on Trade Me that I could find, I think I'm I, I still think it's worth its money. Even though it's not perfect, I'm definitely deeming this my the coolest bulb I've ever seen. Oh. Those other things that I ordered off Trade Me, those little white uh, cable clips that I ordered, they arrived as well. That was no big deal, so I figured I'd just go ahead and put it up. And there we go. So we got the GoPro cable, tablet cable, and then that one there's that little charging cable for the um, GoPro torch. And that looks right. I'm pretty happy with it. I got a second one. They came in a two pack. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll find something. So we went out. Where did we go? Went to the warehouse. Got an extension cable for that light. Went to Torpedo 7, just got some thermal socks for snowboarding. Went to the number one shoe warehouse and got myself some white shoelaces because 
Apparently I can justify buying white shoelaces to make, make them match my hoodie string. And we went to Animates as well because Jess loves looking at the puppies. Let's chuck this in. Okay, that's that going. As long as the iMac turns back on. Right, so this is my UC hoodie. Charcoal grey with white emblem on the front. Except it's got charcoal grey stringy things. And I am a funny person, so I want to have white strings, not grey. Oh no, 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 yes. That's cool, I like that. And they're shorter as well, no one needs strings down to their ankles. There we go, short little white ones. That's all right. That's two jobs achieved. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to crack into one of the big ones, but I'm hesitating and procrastinating. Maybe I should put one of these up, pink in the shirt. But they need to be cut shorter first because these I think 1.22 and they need to be 1.2. So let's take them through next door, put the tape measure on them and change their length. Oh cool. I can pretty much just cut through it with my I can pretty much just cut through it with my side cutters. Because it's just like cheap wood. You're right there! You're alright there, love! <laughs> Oh, last night we went and saw Finding Dory. Um, Gerald is definitely my favourite new character. Oh, Gerald, you must be mad. You've lost your marbles. I think I might just use the saw outside. Here we go. Well, it's not too bad outside, actually. What a mess. <sighs> that is some of the hardest wood to cut. When I say hard, I don't mean that it's strong. I mean that it's ridiculously weak and brittle. It's like almost balsa wood, and it just fucking splinters everywhere. Oh well, job done though. Okay, so I've got them cut to length. Now it's gonna get them on the wall. If it's not obvious already, the gaps, yeah, that's where the white ones are gonna go that are at work at the moment, still drying. So hopefully tomorrow afternoon I'll get them up. It was a lot harder than I expected it was gonna be. Um, I thought those nails would go through the um, plasterboard wall or whatever you call it, um, a lot easier, but it was actually quite hard. It took a long time. But anyway, hopefully it'll all look good once the white ones are up there. I can already notice a significant difference in the sound in here. Like just, especially around here, right in front of them, there's just so much less echo. But then even if I move here with this piece in front of me, it instantly echoes. So they definitely work, which is awesome. So at the moment, I've got it importing the first 32 gigabytes of footage from this morning and afternoon. And now I've switched over to the next memory card. Time to do the speakers. So while that's importing, I am going to work on these speakers. Okay. got it done in the end guys, I uh, managed to get all the speakers back in their pods and going so I'm pretty stoked about that. It took me quite a while to get them all wired up, mainly the uh, front right one because it has the controller in it, which has obviously 
got the volume, the power button, the LED and the headphone jack and all these wires coming out the back, a big thick bus cable and then the three inputs. It took me ages because there was literally like probably, I don't know, maybe 20 tiny little wires that I had to resolder back together and then also three stereo, uh, three two channel inputs. His six channel input going into that speaker so it took ages to get it all back up and running but I'm so stoked because powered it up and it all goes good. Let's have a quick look. Uh... They sound really good, awesome. And then obviously get the sub down in there in its original position, wires dropping down behind it. So the only thing I've really got to do now is I've got this piece here, which I told you about that I made it work earlier, and that's just gonna go on the front of here. Only reason I haven't got it on now is because I'm gonna drill a bit wide enough to uh, cut out a hole big enough for this volume knob, which is obviously just gonna go in the center there. So I'll do that at work tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and then put that on. I'll place it up at white first though, so it's gonna look all good. But how the speakers turned out for my first ever placed tip job, I'm actually really, really happy. Got the acoustic foam up there. Half of it anyway. We'll pick up the rest of it tomorrow. Put it up. It already sounds so much better in here. Like, yeah, definitely worth it. All in all, quite a productive day. I didn't get everything I wanted to do, wanted to do done, just because um, that took me ages, and then the speakers took me ages. So between that taking me ages and the speakers taking a long time, I didn't get to do any of the light, uh, lighting work outside. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get um, up nice and early and go out and wire up the lights on the outside of the garage and some more on the inside. This is the problem. We, we, you can't have lollies open in the house around me because they don't... I can't make them last more than a day. Jess bought them for me when we went to see Finding Dory, but I didn't really eat them because I had already had that night like a chocolate brownie, a mochaccino and a coke so I don't think I could fit anything more sweet in, it in my mouth but as I was saying this weather has totally put me off wanting to wire up any lights out on the garage but I still want to do it I still want to do it because I've been putting it off for too long need to get done I might just have to put on a coat oh crap first things first I'm going to wire up this outdoor security light so I'm going to have to take it back off the wall attach some wires to it from the back poke them through the hole which I've already drilled and then run them along the inside of the garage and over to the fuse box or the switch, I'm not sure I'll figure it out going nice not sure when they turn off okay so I got the outdoor security light wired up which is good I was getting a bit worried there because it wasn't turning off I was getting a bit worried for a minute thinking maybe there's something wrong with the unit or something like that but it has turned off after a while so that's good news now I just need to wait till it gets dark and then I can go and tune the settings on the sensor so that it turns on at the right you know sort of darkness and how long it stays on for all that stuff and now I'm going to look at putting some more lights up in this area and above the car. Okay, managed to uh, swap out that single light fitting for the double one and that lights up that area a lot better. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet for the garage yet. So, pretty much done for the day with the lighting. Got that working, got that working. Just need to tune that once it gets darker and we're all sorted. Right, so I'm just going to head into work real quick to quickly grab the uh, acoustic foam which I painted yesterday and put that up on the wall and I'm also grabbing a tool which is going to help me finish off that piece for the speakers and I'll bring back the placey dip as well so that I can place dip that back here so that should only take me a couple minutes there we go, we're back at work okay, just need one tool and that is this large stepper bit and the phone's ringing even though we're closed and there they are it's 
box them up, take them home. Yeah. Yeah. That's everything. Back off home. So I got the foam, place the dip, and the large stepper bit. I think I might do the large stepper bit thing first and get that out of the way. Almost there. Ow! That was bound to happen, wasn't it? Let's see how it fits this time. Perfect. That looks good. That fits really nicely. So now, I'm going to find a place in a cardboard box somewhere where I can place the dip this and match it and then I'll do something about getting it secured on there. Time to put up some uh, acoustic foam. See how this looks. Awesome! Guys, is that cool or is that... That's cool. That looks awesome. Hold on, let me turn the lights onto white so we can see it. Awesome! Oh my god! Guys, that is seriously my new favourite part of this office. They're holding up there nicely. And they just come off real easy as well. You will have seen me when I put them up. They, they, they like only just hold themselves on, but since they're lightweight, they hold themselves fine. That's awesome. Hey Jess, come look at this. That looks good, well done. The colours definitely match. The colours look awesome, don't they? Yeah. Is that your back? That was my back. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really cool. It looks good, eh? Yep. There we go, white. That looks mean. And it sounds better as well, I reckon. Yeah, I think it does. It does sound much quieter in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you tired? I feel lazy. I've done nothing. I'm just going to use uh, this box here as like a sort of spray booth area. Let that dry for 20 minutes. Here's coat number two. Third and final coat. Right guys, well that's the end of my video. I think I'm going to call it there. Got everything sorted. It's working great. The outdoor light works awesome. Got the last kind of place to dip on the speaker fascia. Thanks so much for watching my video guys. Check out my next one um, in a week's time. I do them weekendly. So have a good week guys. Remember to drop me a comment in the comment section. Uh, letting me know if there's anything you want me to change about the vlogs, the way I do them, anything like that. Just any opinions are fine. My name's James. You've been watching James and Co. etc. And I'll catch you in my next video. Every morning I wake up and grab a pencil and journey into the world of my mind that has the potential to take me to anywhere I imagine. I travel into invisible space and focus to help me capture the physical realm. Life is a journey and I'm living to dwell. Some rappers want to test me lyrically, I'm giving them hell. Something like a verbal mystic put them into a spell. Something like my words are twisted like this is a pretzel.